how to buy Bitcoin on Cash App and then send it to another wallet. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel How to Geek. In today's video, I'll show you how you can buy Bitcoin on your Cash App and then send it to another wallet. So you want to make sure to watch this video till the end. The very first thing you want to do is simply open up your Cash App and then make sure that you're under the Bitcoin tab from the bottom right. And first of all, we're going to move on to the steps of buying a Bitcoin. So just tap on the buy button, which you see right over here. Once you tap on the buy button, you'll see this kind of interface on the next page. So here you'll find the buy Bitcoin. If you want to enter a preset amount, you can do so. Or if you would like to enter a custom amount, you can tap on the three dots over here and just enter the amount you want and then just click on the next button from the bottom. And once you do that, you have to choose your order type, such as auto invest or custom purchase orders. So automatically buy Bitcoin if it reaches the price you choose or set up automatic daily, weekly or bi-weekly purchase of Bitcoin, depending on whatever order type you want. Then after that, confirm your Bitcoin purchase of $100 or maybe the amount of your own fiat currency. Enter your funding source as well. Make sure in this case, it's a Chase Bank or any other bank that you're connected to. Make sure that the symbol BTC is correct. It could be Bitcoin or it could be any other cryptocurrency that you want to buy. And then just tap on the confirm button from the bottom. As I'm going to do that, you can see I have successfully purchased my Bitcoin worth this many sats and then just tap on the done button. Now, when we've done all of these steps, the next step is to transfer this to another wallet. Wallet, and it depends on what wallet you're trying to transfer to. If you're trying to transfer to Binance, then you have to copy the Bitcoin wallet address from Binance. If you'd like to transfer from Coinbase, then you have to copy the Bitcoin wallet address from Coinbase. So since this is an app specific feature as well, I'm sure you know how to copy the wallet address of the own given specific app. Just make sure to copy the Bitcoin address. Once you have the Bitcoin address with you, just click on the done button. And then again, you want to open it cash app. Again, you want to make sure you're under the Bitcoin tab here. And then here this time, you'll select this option right over here that says send. And once you click on the send option, just enter your worth of Bitcoin that you want to send based on a fiat currency as well and click on send button. And it is on this specific page where under the to section, you have to simply paste the Bitcoin wallet address you would like to send to. So make sure the Bitcoin wallet address is correct. If it's correct, you'll see this little pop up at the bottom which says an external address. If it doesn't show this, it means the address is incorrect. Also make sure the address is actually correct because if you send to a wrong wallet address, the transaction is irreversible. Then click on the next button as you do that it'll ask you to confirm your action with either your fingerprint your face recognition or your eye verification and so on so just tap on the use pin or whatever option you think is suitable for you then after that select your withdrawal speed your priority basically had a certain amount of fee associated with it as well as the rush as well as well as a standard which is absolutely free but arrives in more than or less than 24 hours with minimum of 100,000 sats but this is depending upon your own fiat currency then tap on the next button and as you do that you can see we've successfully transfer our Bitcoin to another wallet. So this is how you can buy Bitcoin on Cash App and send it to another wallet as well. Now just tap on the done button. We hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you've got any more questions feel free to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.